Hello everybody, Big Bad Ray here again with another episode, a new episode, maybe a one-off or two, of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. So, I've been having this little bit of an addiction with Yu-Gi-Oh! lately. I ain't going to play this live, because that's going to just, it's just going to be, yeah, it's just, it's going to be a mess. So I'm going to show you my archived duels. Because I suck. <laughs> but I saved the good ones. I saved the good ones. So, I made it to... What am I right now? I'm like gold five or something like that? Yeah, that's. I think that's supposed to be gold five. I don't know if that's like, oh, I'm great. Or like, I'm trash. I assume platinum's like, like the best. So, I got my replays a little bit loud. Let me see if I can work down this thing a little bit. Uh, okay, so the reason why I would do this because I ran out of room saving my place, so I think I should document what I have here. And uh, let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they only let you uh save ten. So but I also did some um of the ones that you capture on PS5, but that shit doesn't work. I tried doing it like three times and like, err. So I'm just gonna do it this way, get out of the way. I'll probably skip in between and get to like the next ones. You know what I mean? So like, it won't be like a oh, long drawn out. So let's start with this one. I think this was my first like public match, my rank match. And uh, it was like somebody from PC. So let's see this one and see how it goes. Let's get this start up. All right. So what did it here? So this is my first one. I'm running a. P I wouldn't even say it. Is it a pure fiend deck? I'm not really running any. I I guess I'm st I'm still new to this. I I don't know nothing about Yu-Gi-Oh. So I'm, I'm basically running everything fiend. I guess that's a pure fiend deck. So this first match, he's summoning like. Five different items, cards, whoever. Overwhelming. I put this down. Gives me 500 attack on fiends. It comes that. And that goes. Then I put that down. Destroy that. So this card right here. Oh, I put down. If I flip some of it. Oh. Yeah, just doing another link summon. Another one. Yeah, this one, if it's flip summon, it controls one other monster from your opponent's side of the field for one turn. Uh, I usually use it to disrupt like the whole situation. If they attack me, they can't attack with another card type thing. Or they're going to destroy their own monster. Then yeah, he was doing all this bullshit. I'm like, okay. This is annoying. Now I got attack. Big owies. Alright, that draw. Oh, I dropped the dark hole. The dark hole. Get devoured by the dark hole. That I just summoned sand in. And now he got 1900. Then for whatever reason, I put the other pan route in the labyrinth. <clears throat> But it worked out. I assume this guy's from Korea. Come by his name. Alright, then I think I tribute him. Yeah, then he brought out Archfiend Giant. And he used Maxine. Yeah. Big damage. Big beat stick. Oh yeah, this is the combo. So I use this guy to eat this guy, and he gets double whatever he had regularly. So I believe he came out with 48, then plus 500. I remember. It's a big number. <laughs> so yeah, 
I took him out, and he just quit. <laughs> He's like, fuck this. I don't have no cards left. All right, I'll see you on the next clip. All right, what do we have here? So, I don't remember how this went. I think he probably summoned a whole bunch of bullshit. Yeah, he was using Blackwing. So, I changed my deck over time because I was just using any card they gave me, basically. Then, um, I just kept on playing a bunch of solo matches that I used to use those cards. Then any cards that were like rare or like super rare or ultra rare that I knew I was not going to use, I just uh, disassembled. I used those cards to get better cards. So what did I got here? I got first monarch. I use for the first monarch a lot. Usually use it as a shield. This guy, he's pretty good. I like him. I just use random cards and it gets rid of the cards over there. But I can't land on a one or a six or it gets negated. Brought it back to his black wing. I'll break my, my phone. But how does this one? Oh, for a reason, I sacrificed that card. Uh, I was still trying to get you in hang of this deck. I don't know why I did that. For a reason. But I don't think I used this card as it was made to be intended. I just use it as a wall. But I have Spear Karibo, and if he tries to do attack, um, I discard this card from my hand. It goes into defense position, but it only works for one card. So I changed up my deck a little bit. I had I was running two of these. I brought it down to one, and I got another uh, Battle Fader. For to have that. What was it going? You use Battle Fader to negate the battle phase. Of your opponent's turn. Yeah, I was running this guy a lot too. Now I changed him out because I was not running. Uh, he quit too. But yeah, uh, I think I'm running a little bit too many cards. Right now I'm at 60. And I'm trying to find like how to bring it down to 40, maybe 45. But like I'm just, I'm running too many cards. I'll show you the deck after I'm done. Showing all the clips. So let's go to the next. Alright. He goes first. Yeah, I think he was running. He was running Synchrons, I think. I don't remember. We'll see in a second. Yeah, I think he was running some type of Synchron. Is my phone still on? To turn you off. Didn't. So I like this guy right here. Midoriya. So if he gets tacked, he destroys any card on your opponent's side of the field. Really useful. Yeah, he was running synchrons. What was the play? What did I do here? All right, special summoned for my hand. I put him on the field. And I used those two cards to summon, um, what was it? It's coming out right now. Mighty Warrior. I could do damage to defense position monsters. And boom. And direct hit with that. Yeah, then he destroys Mighty Warrior. And get out oh, his uh was his tuner. Did he synchro summon? But he synchro summon this time. Oh gravity warrior. Yeah. Smacked him down. That thing I did the play that I did uh I did this card. Oh yeah, that's all. Yep. Spell some of that. 
Now I banned this card. Banished it. Then direct hit. Oh, then I used the Monster Reborn to bring back Mighty Water. Water. Mighty Warrior. So now I have two beaters on the field. And with that damage stick. Yep, direct hit again. He's hurting, he's hurting. And then he brought another one of those. Then he quit. <laughs> I'm starting to see a theme. A lot of people's a lot of these people quit. Alright, let's go on to the next clip. And see what's happening there. All right, what do we got here? Oh, I remember this play. This was really good. So he was running some type of... I don't even know. I think he was doing blue eyes or something. Because he has pizzas of eyes of blue. Oh yeah, I think so. He was running some type of blue eyes set. He destroyed that. Damaged me. I bring out Battle Fader, and this gets interesting. So I have Bandy Sveen right here. Bandy Sveen. Negates special summoning of all. So I can't special summon, and he can't special summon. And I over here use two cards. Brought me up to 43. 1800 off him. So he brought out a Debris Dragon. Yeah, he can't use no special summoning on that. Put some beater on him. Yep. That could flip summon next turn. Then you Space Typhoon, Flip Summon. Well, not Flip Summon, I got it from the deck. Oh, got a little game drop of that. Finish him off with that. Yeah, I like this card too. I've been running him because he's basically a wall. He, he cannot get destroyed. So I haven't flipped like that for he won't get damage. And he won't get destroyed. So I think the play next, he puts down like a, a trap card. But I negated the trap card because I think it was like Mirror Force or something. And right here, I used uh, Starlight Road to negate it. But I was not able to... Uh, Summon start like dragon because I couldn't special summon. So I basically locked him down. And he ran the dreams. Yes, sir. Alright, okay. Trust me, I don't win this much. <laughs> well, I was going on a nice streak the other day. But like I was playing a little bit this morning. I was losing. I lost like five in a row. I'm still like tweaking my deck. Like I said before, I'm trying to like bring it down to 40. I'm running 60. That's a lot. So I was saying like 40, 45. So let's see what we have next. All right. Oh, I remember this one. Oh, this one. This one's really interesting. Oh. No, this ain't the one I'm talking about. This one that's going to come up. It was really annoying, but he summoned Big Beater Man out the gate. Let's see. Yeah, I put down him. I put down that secret barrel. So this does 200 damage to each card in hand on field. And did the effect, but um, 
doesn't really work this turn because you don't have no other. T it's better when you, it's your turn and you flip summon it, but it's a rare occasion when that happens. For me, that is. Alright, you got his cards here. Mirror forced it. down sinister I was thinking about putting like two or three in my deck yeah and then he's yeah I special some of that in the graveyard use his beater against them looking at these nasty plays it destroys my tuner Dora. And he used Solemn Judgment. He uses half his life points for that. Which I think that was a bad idea on his part. Was it worth it though? Destroy that. Let's see what the move is next. It's his turn now. He quit. <laughs> he just quit. Yeah, no cards for me. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, let's see this one. Well, brought her out. Use that. So when he's in the graveyard, the conjurer. If you have no cards on the field, you can special summon from the graveyard and he will do 800 to every monster on your opponent uh, opponent's side of the field. Yeah, so he... Let's read it right here. He does... Yeah, all your atta uh, attack from... I can't speak. <laughs> all the attack from every monster on the other side of the field. Loses 800 attack. Yeah. So he's using Big Shield Guardia. Guardia? I haven't seen him in a while since that. DX, was it? I don't even remember the play for this. Yep, flip summon. Special summon that. Resonator out. Synchro summon. Oh yeah, blood misfits. This thing's a beast. Can destroy that. Yeah, it's just a normal sort card. Yeah, he does 300 to every spell or trap card set on the field. This monster board brought the the big shield. All right, darkness destroy. Get hit two times per turn. Destroy that. Destroy that. Big damage, big damage. Another one. Oh, this card. This card didn't give me tro um, problems. So, it does any... So, it will negate any effect. From any monster so even my monsters it will negate the effects of and it been destroying my own cards while i'm trying to use the effect for my monsters so i've been questioning myself of even running this card anymore so that was another good one i think the next one it could be it was like some type of spy deck i don't know we'll see 
I believe this is the the match. Yeah, so I believe this guy was running some type of spy deck. Yeah, it brought down Dark Demise, Space Typhoon. That didn't really work for that. It still worked for him. Yeah, then he was running Mothman, a couple other cards. Yeah, it was like Time Thief. Yeah, it was Time Thief. So I didn't ever play this deck. And when he's like, I think he like XYZ summoned like the big guy. When he XYZ this guy, the Redoer, he was using my cards as material. So I was like, why is this happening to me? So he got his desserts later on in this match. So yeah, he was using my materials, my cards. And he's like, oh yeah, I'm eating. I'm eating these cards. I'm eating. Yeah, then he gets 36. Attacks me directly. I guess a little hazy look. I was like, oh, I'm gonna lose this. He keeps on eating my cards. He's like, ooh, I mean this guy's lunch. So he whips out his uh spell card. Brings his card down. Takes another one of my cards again. Yeah, summons another Mothman. Then he uses these two to summon one of his other Time Thieves. And he's doing all this stuff. 4200, he thought he was going to hit me directly. Hit him with the Battle Fader. No attack for you. I hit him with the battle fear. Then this is what we're going to get. It's going to get raw right here. It's going to get raw. Yeah. I think he's going to take more materials. Yeah, he took one of his materials. Yeah. Take more of my materials that I brought down. Power Invader. Then I use his card to special summon my Link Monster for 3,000 attack. So I brought down the Dark Necrofear. Now I got two beaters on the field. How you like me now? Yeah, I negated this one. At the Threatening Roar. And I think her special effect that she negate effects of all face-up monsters. Negated. Can you look? And he quit. He quit. Quitters. Quitters. We have quitters. Yeah. So that was a really good match. Uh, let's see the next one. All right. I think this is my first match in silvers. So what did I do here? I think I. Can't really do nothing with that. Threaten more. Okay. Now he brought out Half Moon Dragon. Drop that down, got rid of the card set. Synchro summon. Who did I synchro summon? Oh yeah, this one. This card's a beast. So if I had a card in my hand, oh, then he summons Honest. That, that fucked my day up. 
So yeah, he brought out Honest. Then Honest destroyed my card. Basically. All right, what do we got here? What's next on the agenda? Oh yeah, Monster Reborn. And I bring back the Ice Dragon. The Ice Barrier. So it brings out Galaxy Cleric. Oh yeah, he's running like Galaxy Eyes or something. And like, you're gonna see later. Yeah. Reduce him down to nothing. So that removes 800 off his life points. Brought my life points up with the um, skill successor. We're working good, we're working good. Alrighty. Level zero. Oh yeah. He could summon two monsters. The token monsters. And I think I use that special summon? No, I just left everything on the field. Oh yeah, he's trying to do his big, big boy combo. Yeah, I negated that. Yep, Scrap Iron Scarecrow. Very useful. Yep, 600. Now use this to get rid of that. Putting it back in his hand. I smacked his boy up. Storm Cypher. Yep, negated that. I don't know why he's trying that again. Yeah, then he's... I think he, uh... Was it XYZ summon? Yep. Galaxy Eyes. That Galaxy Eyes went into the bigger Galaxy Eyes. Then that ended the phase. I don't know what he was thinking because then he uses that. Put as material. I use his effect. Put him back in the extra deck. Direct hit. He's dead. Murder. I'm a winner, baby. I'm a winner. I'm a winner, baby. All right, on to the next one. All right. So this one, how did this one went? I honestly don't remember how this went. Okay. So he's getting his spell counters up. And he quit. Oh yeah, he quit. That's why I don't remember it. He quit. Alright, then I think there's one more. I have this one. There's no there's no point of skipping ahead. Let's do this. Do that. This will be the last one. <clears throat> Alright, how did this one went? Oh yeah, I was experimenting with Fire's Doomsday. I didn't really like it. This this card's a pretty cool card. I like it a lot. Especially when somebody has lots of extra deck. Very useful for that. The yeah, swords are really light. They can't do nothing about that. Build up his back row. Yeah, I use that. The trip be that. He uses solid judgment and then negates and he gets my card destroyed. Yep. That just super summon that. Yep, Nightmare Phoenix. 
And then I was able to uh, do that. Destroyed that, and I was able to summon this card from my hand. Put the axe down, gave myself a thousand points, 2900 direct. The Ragekin classic. But I'm able to come back from this. So special something from the deck. Use those that XYZ the um, this big gigabug. Yeah, giga brilliant. Smack them up. I think he brings back his cipher out. Thank you. Special summon from the graveyard. Yeah. Defense position. I'm already here. Pocket block. Heard my tongue. 2000. Alright, last turn for the reveal. Light. I think, yeah, I just used that. Brought down his health. Brought back up my health. And he's dead. Easy as that. Alright, that's good. So. Um, I do have, I think, a match or two. But those ones are longer because I had to record those on the PS5 capture button. Because I've ran out of room on all of this. But um, that'll probably be like a separate episode. And uh, yeah. I'll probably do two or three of these. We'll see. Alright. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.